Good day. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm about to discuss to you setting page size and row number on SSRS. So in this demo, what we're going to see is how to set up a page size on SSRS. We're going to show how to configure row number. Okay, it will display a row number per record and then setting up row number using expressions. So let's get going. So I'll be using Visual Studio here. Okay, so I'm gonna drag a table. Okay, there. Um, and then we'll be using this Adventure Works again. Okay, so it contains 290 rows. We'll be using this this one. Okay. So now going back. So we'll be having login ID and then job title. Okay. There. So next is I'll be right clicking this one. Right click and then go to expression and then I'll be adding some expression here we're in row number this will show you this function will show the row number okay simple as that then here nothing and click OK there so I'm gonna preview the um, report okay so there you are so this is the um, report okay so it shows you the um, row number okay here on the left side okay so now what if um, we're gonna do some uh, modification the uh, report let's say we would like to see the, the um, page size so you could just go to report and then go to report property there there on this page setup, you have the capability to to switch on the units. Either let's say you would like to use a bond paper which has the size of a um, small band paper or long short band paper, and what if you would like to shift to a long bond paper? So you have the capability to customize the width and then the height. Okay, so here you could choose a lot of paper sizes can either be A4, A5, A6 so it depends on your um, uh, request or the customer or your boss request okay so here you have the capability to choose as well the left right top bottom margins so it's up to you so don't forget it's under report okay so you just click OK so now um, we'll be going to um, how to how to um, uh, group group your 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 record okay so let's say you're gonna group by by 10 or or what okay so by by using expression so first thing we go back to design and then right click and then um, we're gonna go to row groups okay and then click this detail right click it and then choose parent group on parent group um, we go to the um, function and then we change this um, function okay so we're gonna type a, a, a um, an expression we're in ceiling row number oh row number nothing nothing divided by 10 so meaning to say you're gonna do we the the total number of record would be uh 10 per per per, per page okay so now next is okay so after this one we just click okay there so and then click okay again there so so this will will give you another column it's an automated um, um, action on, on SSRS so if you we, we preview the report okay so we will have an error okay 
so what we're gonna do is we just um, go to group one okay again group one and then so there group one and then go to group properties on the group properties so you can see okay so there is a um, okay wait so go think go to this one sorting okay so and then we just click this one it's because this is the issue just delete it okay so the moment we delete this one under group one we just right click it okay go to group property we preview the report and there you are so the, the issue has been fixed but this is not the one we like to to be displayed okay okay so there we don't want it by batch we want it per page there are 10 okay so what we're gonna do is delete the column that we don't want okay so delete this one the column only okay so here delete column so delete mm -hmm. delete column only not the associated group okay click ok so once done we preview the um, report Okay, and then go to to group report group property okay so go again in the group property and then choose page break and then click this one between each instance of a group there see so we do a preview okay so you can see per page it's only 10 okay so to next page Okay, so there's an error. Just wait. I'm try. I'm trying to. Okay. To display. It by force. Okay. Two. Okay, so we'll just try. Let's say I would like to to um, to export it through Excel. Click OK. So there, so view it. So it's only ten. So per sheet, it's 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 uh divided. So two hundred ninety records was divided. Okay, so using sheets there so this um, will give you an output of per page there is 10 10 um, um, records okay so this ends um, on my discussion thank you and good day